All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, I want to talk about has class, which is a jQuery method that tests for Boolean. Now, if you don't know what Boolean is, if you don't have any JavaScript or PHP uh, experience, Boolean just tests for true or false to see if something is correct or incorrect. A lot of times in programming languages, one will be the true and zero will be the false. Let's go ahead and create an example. So for release the hounds, I'm going to turn this into a button. Let's close it out. And let's go ahead and create some button. Let's go ahead and create some paragraph text. Let's go ahead and say P. Everyone writes hello world. I hate that. It's very cliche. This should work. That's what we want. We want it to work. This should work. Okay, so up top right here, I'm going to go ahead and we're not doing hover over. We created a button. So let's go ahead and source that in. And how do we want to activate our button? Well, the most appropriate thing I can think of is click. And for our paragraph test, instead of add class, it's going to say has class. Now, this should come up false because our paragraph, we're not adding it. And that's what we did in the last video. In this video, we're just seeing if our paragraph text has a class. So when we open this, we need to go ahead and since we're testing for Boolean, let's go ahead and create an alert box. Let's close that out and let's get our closing parentheses right there. Let's go ahead and open this up in our... Safari, if you will. And if my calculations serve me correctly, this should show up as false. JavaScript, false. Alert box, false. Perfect. That's because we tested to see if something was true or false. We were, we were testing to see whether our P had a class. Let's go ahead and create a class for it. We'll call it class equals. And since we only have one class, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and add it to it. Now this should come up as true because now our paragraph tag should be big and it's got a class. So let's go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and reload it. Release the hounds. This should work. This should show up now is true. There it is. So it just tests for Boolean. In all honesty, uh, I never use this method. There's like a one in a million. It's more of a Boolean. You're just testing to see if something is there and if it is. But if that 0.0001% chance you ever come across this method, this is what that video is for. All right, guys. Hopefully this made sense for you. Again, uh, jQuery has class. We're testing for Boolean, true or false, to see if something has a value or not. All right, guys, good luck with this. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk about something a lot more important.